Tessie is very confused. This isn't our van, Mummy. What's happening? <coughs> yeah, I know, Tessie. It's confusing, isn't it? Daddy's gone to make us a cuppa. He'll be back in a minute. You just get settled in your bed. <laughs> Barney's in for her habitation check. Um, Leisure Drive have been kind enough to loan us a vehicle so that we could do a van tour for you guys. Now obviously Varney is a Vivanti model um, by Leisure Drive but this is the Crusader model. So this is your more traditional VW. So it's got the traditional standard layout inside. Now just moving around the van obviously one of the first things we noticed was the colour scheme. So you've got your two-tone, you've got your gold and white which we think looks fantastic. You've also got the alloy wheels um, that are obviously added afterwards. Um, you obviously get a lot of choice with Leisure Drive. You can add different wheels, um, all sorts of different features onto the van. The actual van itself is a VW T6, the same as ours, and it's based, I believe, on the start line model. So just moving around the van, from the outside, one of the first things you see, is you see you've got your wind out awning, so exactly the same as ours. The awning would come out to about here. It's obviously got your legs um, and gives you a great place to eat outside in the dry. Also gives us a great place to uh, dry the doggy off. <laughs> We're just moving around to the back of the van. You'll notice that this one's actually on the barn door model. So you've got your two doors rather than your, uh, rather than your tailgate. So obviously slightly different to ours. If we open up the uh, doors, one door there and you've also got the other door there what you'll see is you'll see that we've got a standard rock and roll bed we will go into the detail of that um, a little bit later and we will show you how that goes down other thing you've got in the back is you have got a bit of storage so you see you've got a cupboard in there and in truth you could probably get quite a bit in that cupboard just moving down you've then got your gas safe cupboard um, so you should only really store your gas bottle in there, so it's not really a storage cupboard as such. The other thing to note is in your cupboard as well, um, any professional conversion should have what they call drop vents, so that if the gas leaks, because the gas sinks, the gas will go down those vents and it will go out of the van so that it doesn't gas you. So obviously you can tell that this has been converted properly by a proper company. So just closing that, you've got your water tank at the bottom, so slightly different to our vehicle. You've got your pump here, this goes inside the tank, but the tank comes out, so you can take the tank to a water, uh, to, to a water, to a tap, and you obviously fill it up from the tap. The other thing I notice about the tank that they give you is that there is a water tap on the actual um, tank. So if you wanted to have it outside for a picnic or something like that, you can also use it for that. So just pop that back in there, pop that back there. So just closing up the doors, what you see is you see both doors are secured, secured separately. And you've got so, storage underneath as well, you could put oh, okay, stuff under yeah, there. Sorry, I've missed that out actually. Yeah, you've got quite a bit of storage, to be fair. Um, so that goes all the way through. At the front, it splits into two sections. We will go through that later. Um, but you possibly would put a toilet in the front, so you know, limits you a little bit there. Um, but yeah, you've got acres of storage really, and I notice as well you've got your wheel brace, it's just in there, so that's tucked well out of the way and that's well secured. Um, but you can get to it quite easily as well. Just closing the doors, so you notice each door is actually secured separately, so that one's got a handle there that will click it open. This one has obviously got the back handle. So in terms of security, um, obviously it's quite good because they're both locked together. So just moving around the van, other things to note on the outside of the van is you've got your vents there for the fridge um, and you've also got your external hookup down here. 
So that's where you would plug in on site to get your 240 volt electric. Um, just moving around the van, I think that's probably everything. Uh, but you can see from the front, you can see it's definitely a T6. You've got the T6 styling. Um, personally, I prefer it a lot to the T5 because I think it's it's more of a matured up model. I think the T5 is a bit it's a bit more rounded, if you like. Um, yeah, I mean, the other things that you've got is you've got the bars along the side. So this is something that we've got on Varney as well. Um, obviously, they add a lot of style to the vehicle. And I think a lot of people have noticed them and commented on them on our van as well. Um, so yeah, nice little feature to have. I'll just open this door now to give you a glance inside as to the layout. But Claire is going to run through that with you in a minute. You see we've actually got Tessie's bed in there and Tessie's bed in. But um, yeah, that is your standard VW layout as you can see. But yeah, I'm going to move on now and I'm going to hand you over to Claire who's going to do the inside. So, as you can see, it's a traditional um, T6 layout uh, with a rock and roll bed that pulls out. Um, I can show you here, we've got, this is very similar to ours actually. We've got the sink and we've got the hob, two hobs, which close down like that. We've got some storage here. This is obviously just where the sink is, but you could probably put a few utensils down there. Oops. Uh, we've also got a cutlery drawer complete with a little tray quite a big drawer that is actually yeah we've got some a storage cupboard here we've got quite a lot of storage this in here and at the bottom and it's just worth noting with that cupboard sorry just to interject that the gas is at the back right so in a lot of these cupboards you would obviously lose a lot of space but yeah. because the gas is at the back you've obviously got you've a got huge cupboard for use. your kitchen storage yeah You've got your fridge which is a Dometic uh, three-way fridge so you've got your plug battery and it works on the gas as well obviously important with a battery to make sure you turn it off when yes, you uh, when you get somewhere yes, otherwise you get a flat that's battery quite handy to, uh, <laughs> to tell the viewers uh, we've also got a little storage edge under here which is quite large but I think with these models you'd probably put your port what's it called a porta -potty. Porta, porta potty under there so that would take up half of that space but yeah still quite a nice area um, we've got a cupboard here and we've got a little rail so you can actually hang some clothes there with a mirror yeah and um, there's a little tray under here so yeah that's quite a nice little area as well for storage and that one goes all the way down to the ground it does, doesn't yeah, it yeah, so, so you so could put could... shoes and stuff yeah, in the bottom absolutely and um, you've got a little sort of shelving area here I'm guessing you would put your tins, if you had food, tins and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, or your tea, coffee done. canisters, stuff like that. Yeah. But yeah, quite a nice little area. Okay, fantastic. So that is a majority of the storage. The only other thing that's worth noting inside the van is you've got your safe, which yeah. is underneath one of the chairs. Uh -huh. um, so it's the same as ours. We've got a safe, open it with a key. I think it's a standard leisure drive thing um, that they put the safes into the vans, which I think is fantastic. But what we're going to do now is we'll show you the table, we'll show you the bed down, and we'll also show you the pop top up. So as you can see, the front passenger seat swivels round. You see Tessie waiting for us up there. Um, Claire's going to show you how to put the table out so we can set the van up into like a daytime mode. Okay, so the table literally just slides out from behind this chair. And then we've got one leg that we put out like that. And then this just slots onto the bar. Okay. It has got a couple of little locks, so you can lock it in place. However, you can sort of move it to where you want it. You can have it in between, or you can have it just on one side. So if you need this room here and someone's sitting there, so that's quite a good, a good little uh, gadget actually. So you can move it and then you can lock it in place. Underneath. Yeah, it's a nice flexible area because you can see you can easily reach it from that chair now or if you wanted to pull it back towards you. So nice. No, I love the flexibility of that. It's great. So now I'm just going to show you the pop top. Now the pop top on the Crusader model um, is slightly different to your usual VW model. It actually pops sideways um, rather than lengthways. I don't know if that's the right phrase. 
But in order to get the top up, now bear in mind I've never done this before, so I've just been told, you release these straps, he says, <laughs> that's it, pull that strap up, okay, and then there's another one at the back, and I believe they're just on hydraulic struts, so we should just be able to pull the, uh, pull the roof up. Okay, or push it up. Um, There's a handle there, isn't there? How's the handle there? Okay. Yeah, there we go. Oh. And there we go. There we go. So the roof is now up. And you can see, what you can see is... David can now stand up. Yeah, which is fantastic. <laughs> I could stand up before. Um, <laughs> I'm just looking. I think you've got vents as well. You've got a vent there. Um, which would obviously open out and yeah. you've got another one at the back um, so fantastic for standing space also if you were camping in here you've got your curtains so obviously you've got a nice window but at night time you may well want to put the curtains yeah, down and they just roll up I guess do they and they would yeah they'll just roll up the other thing that this one I don't think has unless I've missed something no it hasn't is you haven't got a drop down bed on this particular model but i know that they can do one mm. um so obviously that's something to inquire i'm assuming about. that light still works even when it's the pop stop up. i don't know because we turned off the uh oh, oh there, we, there go. we go it does still work. so yeah so <laughs> that should light up the whole room so this is great this is a nice light airy space yeah. um and in actual fact, it's and quite easy to put up. Actually, I thought they would be um, quite yeah. complex, but no, it's quite easy to put up. The only thing I'm not sure on probably won't do it on camera because I don't want to look like an idiot. <laughs> um, but I'm told when you put it down, you've got to make sure that you get all of the material inwards, right. otherwise it can rip. Okay. Um, so I think taking it down yeah, not do is that. probably going to be the harder, <laughs> the harder task. Yeah. Um, so we'll do that in a minute. Yeah. The um, other thing I wanted to mention actually, but we forgot to mention, yeah. was the curtains. Okay. Yeah. Because they. They're, they're they're probably not as homely as uh, fabric ones like cotton ones, but they're quite thick and they're space saving. Um, and I think they're actually probably blackout curtains by the looks of it. I'm not not hundred percent on that. I think that they probably because um, as a hessian, yeah, I right. think these probably cut out more light than yeah. our curtains. Yeah. To be fair, yeah, um, and they're not as bulky. When we put our curtains back, they're they're quite bulky, but these yeah. look. As you can see, they're very trim, very space saving. Absolutely. Very slick. Just another thing while we're filming. And they're here. all the way around actually as well. So we've got them on both sides and, and at the, the back. back. There isn't any at the front. Um, no. I don't know if they can be added, I don't know. I think the thing with a lot of leisure drive vehicles is you can customise and you can add whatever yeah. you want. So obviously the vehicle that we're showing you, um, we're showing you a specific uh, specific selection of what's available. So yeah. you've got the leather seats in this one, but you might not have curtains at the front or so on and so forth. So, you know, they will customise it to whatever mm. you're after. The other thing that we forgot to mention earlier is you've also got your electric sockets. So just there, um, you've got your, that's obviously your 240 volt off of the mains. So you can only use that when you're plugged into a mains hookup. However, at the back, you've got your USB sockets on the control panel. Mm -hmm. They are to be used anywhere. So you can use them off of the leisure battery. Cool. So I think that's the main things inside. Um, the only other thing now to show you is the bed. So let us work out how the bed goes down. And we'll show you. We'll come back to you on that one. how the rock and roll bed works it actually works the same as one of the sides of our bed so first things first you take your headrests off next what you want to do is you want to uh, take this cushion at the back you just want to move it so it's out of the way so if you de if you uh, deattach it with the velcro and just push it right to the back that is now out of the way now I believe we didn't do it earlier we took the cushions off but I believe I should be able to move this with the cushions still on. So you've got your handle there, that releases the catch, then lifts up and it slides out. 
There you go. Just like that. And what you want to do is move all of the cushions to the end and fill the gap with this cushion. And if my maths is correct, that'll fit in there. No, I think, it, that needs, <laughs> I think that needs to overhang just a little bit. So, just pull them all forward a little bit. There we go. And there we go, there's your rock and roll bed. And David um, will lie on it to show you the uh, absolutely. length so, and how comfy it is. Size-wise, it's brilliant. I would say it's probably the size of a small double. Um, in terms of the length, it's fine for me. Um, but this is the standard size of a rock and roll bed. Um, the other thing we did note is the fridge. As long as your cushion is clear of the fridge at the front, mm, that will still then open. you can open the fridge. Yeah. So if you fancy a midnight snack, you can obviously get a midnight snack. Um, so yeah, that's the rock and roll bed. Yeah. So I think that's pretty much everything inside the van. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we've shown you the lot. Okay, so in terms of the cab, so this is based on the VW T6 start line. Um, obviously, you can customise it. You could go up to the trend line or the high line, the same that we've got. In terms of the actual specification, it is still quite a decent spec, um, even for the start line vehicle. So, for example, with regards to the uh, sound system, you've got your, uh, you've obviously got your entertainment system there with the colour screen. Um, You've got your USB inputs there, so if you want to plug in your phone, if you want to plug in uh, any audio, um, you can. And the other thing you've got is you've got your Bluetooth, which on a lot of vehicles you don't get on the base model. So obviously that's great. If you wanted to upgrade to the higher spec models, you would get a leather steering wheel, you would get your air conditioning, and you would also get your cruise control. Again, Leisure Drive source all of their vehicles from a local VW dealer. So they always have the option of getting whatever vehicle you need and whatever spec you need. Obviously, the higher the spec, the higher the price. Um, but yeah, in terms of a basic vehicle, a base vehicle, the start line would be good for most people. Hello, we're now at our campsite for tonight. So we hope you enjoyed that tour of the Crusader. Now, we don't actually have a specific price for that specific van that we showed you around. However, if you go on Leisure Drive's website, it actually says that brand new Crusaders start at £40,995. It's worth bearing in mind that that's for a brand new model um, and they do get second hand ones in that they do convert. So you could probably get one cheaper than that as well um, if it's an older convert um, or if it's one that they've had back as part exchange. Now, obviously, we kind of went to view it um, or to go through and have a look around it with a view to comparing <coughs> it to what we're used to. So with that in mind, what what do you think, Claire? What do you like about it compared to ours, maybe? Um, well, I like the bed. So I had the rock and roll bed and it was so easy to, to pull out and put down and we actually lied and it was very, very comfortable. Yeah. Um, so I love the, the ease of that. Um, the table was like a just in one fluid movement you had the table up and hooked on and it was quite versatile because you could move it to where you wanted it to be yeah. if you wanted whatever side of side you're sitting <clears throat> so that was really good and also liked how easy the, the pop top went up that's the, the first time i've seen a pop top go up and i thought it'd be a bit more a bit more complex yeah, than that. yeah i don't know if you've seen one go up before no 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 um, i've never seen but it no either. it was you yeah, literally just couple of straps and then it literally just pushes up so that was really easy to put up so if, if you're looking for a pop top which is really good for um you haven't got to worry about how it barriers and stuff like that yeah um, obviously you haven't got you can't stand up all the time but and you haven't got you lose a bit of storage with that um but if you're looking for a pop top that yeah it went up really really easily i was quite impressed with that no absolutely i think if you want a traditional vw layout van um, with a pop top, I think the Crusader's fantastic. We went for the Vivanti because we wanted a different layout or we needed it to suit us. Um, so yeah, absolutely. If you want a standard VW layout, absolutely. Crusader by Leisure Drive, fantastic van. Now, one of the things that I think is great about Leisure <coughs> Drive's vans is the build quality of the units. So a lot of other companies, they use maybe injection molded plastics, things like that. Whereas with Leisure Drive, they're actually like um, 
I don't, I don't know much about carpentry, but I think they're handmade. You can tell that. And there's definitely that um, carpentry craftsmanship mm. in the cabinets yeah. um, and a great finish. And solid doors, aren't they? Solid. A absolutely. <clears throat> yeah. So I think they're fantastic for that. I think the only downside for me for this particular model, I would say, would be um, the engines are diesel. Now, normally, you know, all VW T6s, most of them come with a diesel engine. When we bought ours, we were lucky to get one of the few petrol ones that were created. And I think you do notice the difference. I think the petrol has got an awful lot more poke um, than the diesel. It was very noticeable pulling out because there was an incline. Um, so the one thing I would say is if you get chance to purchase maybe a second hand one from Leisure Drive, and if they have got the petrol, then absolutely I would choose the petrol hands down. That said, it would not stop me buying a T6 if I had to have the diesel because you've got the fuel economy. So, you know, it does balance itself mm. out. Um, the only thing I'd say is, like I say, it's noticeable. Um, but I guess the other thing that we just wanted to say in this video is we wanted to thank Leisure Drive because they've been really supportive of our channel. Yeah. Um, really great, you know, offering us a van to go and take out today um, rather than just sitting in their waiting room for, you know, two hours while they did the habitation check. Yeah, it's nice to look um, around another van and, yeah, and get a feel absolutely. for a different van. So, yeah, it was, I enjoyed it. So if you're looking for a camper van, do check out Leisure Drive's website. The other thing I would say is they've got all of their current models that they've got for sale on their website. But if you don't see what you're after, do drop them an email because they're constantly converting vans and they will make a bespoke model for you. So they are really good. Well, thank you for watching our video. Yeah, we hope you've enjoyed it and, and enjoyed the look around. Definitely. And if you have enjoyed it, please do like and comment. And if you're new to our channel, please subscribe. Claire, where else can we be found? We're also on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Always love to hear from you. We are indeed. So give us a shout on there. Well, thanks for watching and see you soon. See you soon.